Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vail Daily Live. I'm Trisha Swenson coming to you live from our Vail Daily Studios here in Eagle Vale. We'll have Charlie Kennedy standing by in Avon just down the road, and we're going to give you details of what's happening today, this weekend, and as we transition into fall. It's a beautiful time to be here in the Vail Valley. We're seeing uh, the colors really starting to change. Every single day, there seems to be a big change. So it's popping up up valley, down valley. Uh, the higher elevations will see the change first. So if you want to get out and do an upper elevation hike, you're going to see a lot of color out there. Aspens are the predominant leaf in our area. It's not like New England where we kind of have a rainbow of colors, but it is still just absolutely gorgeous. So we're excited to have that. But on the show today, we're going to catch up with Charlie. She has been in Spain. So we're going to find out about that trip. And we're going to also let you know about Move chat or eat chat parent it is a mountain youth event that's happening tomorrow and then speaking of youth hey are your kids thinking of going to college we're going to talk about uh different programs uh for college preparedness as well as just great things that youth power 365 is doing and a little science and storytelling tonight at walking mountains so charlie will be checking in with them we'll have your headlines your weather details and so much more. And we'll let you know about a couple of great deals at the end of the show that you won't want to miss. But speaking of weather, it's getting a little drizzly out there. And are we going to check in with Charlie? Yeah, sure. Oh, first of all, hey, pay attention to our crawl on the bottom of the screen. It'll let you know about things happening today and through the week and just another way to get your information. And don't forget, if you're watching us live, we'd love to chat with you. We'd love to find out where you're chatting from. Are you in state? Are you chatting from North Carolina? Are you chatting from uh, California? We'd love to find out what you're doing and where you're at. And uh, maybe you can interact with our show today. If you're watching us on demand, you won't be able to do the chat, but we are on demand in case you can't get up bright and early with us. We're on Roku. We're on Amazon Fire, Apple TV. We're also a podcast on Spotify. So there's many ways for you to get your information. Let's bring it out to Charlie right now. She is standing by in Avon right next to Nottingham. I'm like, welcome back, Charlie. How does it feel to be in the Rocky Mountains again? Oh my goodness, Trisha, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be back. Although the altitude, I feel embarrassed. I just walked from my car here to the lake by the stage and I'm tired. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I think I was going to get back in the gym and get my altitude trained again. So it's yeah. kind of chilly. It's a chilly start to the morning. It's about 48. Definitely feels colder. The sun is trying to come out. Um, I think we're expecting some drizzle. So we'll see. But it is definitely chilly start to today. But okay, I'm so well, happy to be back. Well, tell me about your trip. So where did you go? Oh, it was amazing. I went to Barcelona and Alicante. Um, I met most of my family there. So I took Bowie, my son, and we met in Spain due to no quarantine needed. So we just had to take negative COVID tests. And so we met there and I was there for about two weeks. And then prior to that, I was in Michigan with my husband and seeing his family. So it's definitely good to be back. And I was so sad on your hundredth show. I was trying to do, <laughs> apparently we had Wi-Fi on the Delta flight and I logged on and I was trying to do the Restreamio and it didn't work. But I was so sad because I wanted to join, you know, when everybody comes. Oh. Or the yes. remote host. So, but I was there in spirit. I watched it when I landed. So, so okay, awesome. Enjoyed. Oh, so you were trying to be with us on the plane. That's so yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was flying home. I know, bad timing, but okay. I was trying to make it work. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, um, you know what? I was a little surprised. I woke up this morning. I saw the cloud cover, and then I thought, wow, it looked like it could rain. Now it was drizzling when you were walking over to the the lake right yes and i left edwards and it was definitely raining when i left home this morning um so maybe the rain has passed the sun is coming up but there is still some dark skies ahead okay. of us, so but we'll see right. but super fun i'm going to meet it meet with Brittany kinney who's from youth power 365 so she'll tell us about some events going on and kate from walking mountain science center and then we'll be heading over to rugs benedict to meet mandy benedict so okay. super busy morning i know well we're glad to have you back we're excited to have you with us and uh hey would you mind giving us the weather why don't you give us our little weather forecast for today yes definitely okay so it's definitely looking a little cloudy start to today it's definitely cooler temperatures currently here in avon's around 48 
So we're looking at a drizzle and light rain is expected for the next hour. So just until about 8 a.m. this morning. Current temperatures in Vale is 48, Avon 50, Edwards 48, Eagle 52, Gypsum 54. Tonight you can expect some clear skies with about an overnight low of mid 40s and an outlook for the rest of the week. Don't be fooled, you know, we are expecting some sunshine for most of the time. So it's just cooler start to the morning. Um, but you know, Trish, it makes me laugh. When you leave for the day, I laugh all the time because I have my whole wardrobe in my car. So start the day with a warm coat and then you can expect some warmer temperatures, mid 70s throughout the day and then it cools off in to the evening. So this weather report is brought to you by Liv Sotheby's International Realty, Colorado's leading real estate firm. Contact their Vale Valley professionals today to help you live the life you live. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Charlie. All right. Sounds a little breezy out there. We'll, we'll let you find your guest and we'll pop in and check in. But um, yeah, like she said, a little bit of cloud cover, but then we're going to see a lot of sunshine throughout the rest of the day with just a slight chance of a shower. So don't let this um little, little rain shower this morning fool you. All right. We're going to take it to a quick break. When we come back, we're going to give you your headlines and we're going to check in with uh, Mountain Youth and let you know about a great event that you can attend to help your family by eating well. At Beaver Creek, the extraordinary awaits everywhere you look, in every shared adventure, every breathtaking view, and every discovery. It's where attention to every last detail transforms moments into lasting memories, so your mountain getaway dreams can all come true. Come experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. Welcome back to Vail Daily Live. Time now to take a look at your headlines brought to you by Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea. I know Charlie has her tea already in her to-go cup. We've got our cup right here. And you can get tea, coffee, and even some great gift items at Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea. Two locations, one right outside of Minturn as you're driving into town. The other one, their newest one, is up at Beaver Creek. It's the old Starbucks location, and they opened that up last November. So check it out and get your... Uh, get your adventure fueled by Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea Company. But here's what made headlines in today's Vail Daily for uh, Tuesday, the 14th. And when I first saw this picture on the cover, I thought it was a paint by numbers thing. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. So Rick Spitzer captured this amazing creature. We've got a mule deer resting last week in Edwards and the rut isn't that far away, which is the deer's mating season. And um, Rick Spitzer tells us all about it on page A2. Also headlines for today, Avon survey draws a crowd. With more than 900 responses, residents say they want more affordable housing and transparency from the town council. Now, the town council will review the results of this community survey at a meeting today. You can find out more about this on page A3. Also in today's news, Vail area real estate price increases, squeezing out first-time buyers. But the market remains red hot with $2.1 in sales through the end of July. You can check it out by the numbers on page A4. And also in today's courts and crimes news, Florida man charged with breaking into cars gets probation. 
uh, Demetrius Hutchins becomes first of three sentenced after using credit cards to buy gift cards. More on this on page A5. You can pick up your free copy of the Veil vale Daily and newspaper dispensers all throughout the Veil vale Valley, or you can always go online. You can read these stories in different sections, entertainment, sports, breaking news, and you could sign up for alerts if you want to have this information sent right to your email. Uh, Veil vale Daily, bringing communities together for 40 years. Uh, we're going to take it to our first guest right now. We have Amy Baker standing by, and she is with Mountain U. Youth. And good morning. How are you? Good morning, Tricia. Always so nice to be with you. I know. Oh, Thanks for joining us bright and early today. And you're here to let us know about an event that's coming up. You're continuing your series, the Eat Chat Parent. Sometimes it's Move Chat Parent, but this one definitely has to do with food. Eat Chat Parent. And it's um, just a great topic, food for mental health. Yeah. Tell us about this. Yeah, um, thanks so much for having me here. Um, yes, I'm with Mountain Youth and I'm the Family Education Manager. And we run a series for parents um, called Eat Chat Parent. And how it works, we're going to give it a shot um, being live and in person uh, tomorrow evening at Eagle Valley High School, um, is that the eat part is that we feed you. The chat part is that uh, we have a professional speaker, um, an educator come in and inform you on you know a handful of um, parenting education topics that have a behavioral health thread. Uh, and then the parent part is that we provide childcare. Um, so you can come, you can feed yourself some wholesome food, um, have childcare, and then listen to this great presenter that we have, Dr. Drew Ramsey. And this topic is food for mental health. And we all know that depression and anxiety disorders are are rising, especially uh, given these uncertain times. Um, and in this really groundbreaking uh, event that we'll be having on Wednesday evening, he'll help us forge a path towards greater mental health through nutrition. He's a nutritional psychiatrist out of New York, um, and he details the most cutting edge research on nutrition and brain health um, and gives you actionable steps so that you can sort of support your mental health um, through the foods that you eat. This is amazing. And you know, that old adage, you are what you eat. I mean, it, it is so true. And um, if you really pay attention to what you eat, you can see when you get those little mood swings or when you feel more tired and all those different things. And to have, to have Dr. Drew Ramsey, I mean, this is amazing. And it's free. I, mean, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's absolutely free. And we do have two options for people. So you can come and have a, a beautiful dinner that will be catered by Colorful Catering based on Drew Ramsey's research. Um, so it's really about the vitamins, the minerals, um, the folate, the the green leafies, the fermented foods. I mean, he's going to go into detail. But what I love about it, and he has this book I'm going to show you. Um, I have it right here. This one, Eat to Beat Depression and Anxiety, Nourish Your Way to Better Mental Health in Six Weeks, is that he really outlines in a straightforward way, um, just actionable ways that you can start to incorporate these foods in a simple way. It doesn't have to be complex or complicated. Um, so he really breaks it down. And we'll have food um, that is from this. You've gr There's great... Um, cooking ideas inside this book. And so we'll have those foods there for you. So when you sit to receive this information, you'll notice how it's different than, and, and I love a burrito, but different than sitting um, and, and, you know, listening to a talk after having, you know, some kind of heavy food in your system um, that takes a lot to digest. And what a great life skill to learn right now. I mean, the tools from uh, this talk can stick with you for the rest of your life and help your kids get on a great trajectory. So this is fascinating. I, I love that you guys are doing this and, and bringing in this person and the fact that you've thought about it all. You, you've made it easy. So you're going to, you know, basically it's dinner time so we can get dinner done. The kids are taken care of with the daycare, this educational component. And when you really think about treating your body well, that's treating yourself well. That's self-love, which has a lot to do with depression and anxiety if you can get that self-love component nailed down first. Absolutely. In the book and in this talk, he'll go into our relationships with food and really to see food as something that is, to your point, Trisha, self-nourishment and how we can create that relationship you know, for ourselves as parents and then, of course, to, to share that message with our children. 
Okay. Now, do we need to register for this event? We mentioned it's free, we but do you do. need to know how much food to make? We would love for you to register. That would that would really help us out a lot so that our caterer does have the appropriate amount of food and we, we don't have any you know waste and that sort of thing. So you can go to mountainyouth.org. Uh, click on the eChat parent link and you can register right there. That way we know um, how much child care we need um, and those sorts of things. And also I wanted to say that um, Dr. Drew Ramsey has been gracious enough to let us uh, have a link for two weeks. So should life just, you know, sort of get get out of your control this evening, you do have two weeks to view this talk as well. Okay. And this is going to be Wednesday, September 5th. What time? September 15th. Um, September 15th. That's okay. Dinner starts at 5.30 and the presentation begins at 6. Okay. Oh, so valuable. And once again, this is a free resource. Um, Mountain Youth does so much for uh, bringing families and communication and healthy practices together. So if you want to take part in this, make sure you register so they have plenty of food to help nourish your body. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, appreciate Trisha. it. Okay, awesome. That's such a great thing that they're doing. Hey, uh, we're going to take it out to Charlie right now. We're going to find out, it, did that sprinkle, did that drizzle materialize? She is standing by in Avon. What is happening? There's a little bit of cloud cover above you. Yes, you know, I, the blue skies, they are kind of disappearing. They're still here, but they're not here as much. And that gray sky is appearing above us even more. So I think the rain, the drizzle that was expected over the next hour is certainly on its way any minute now. So be sure to wear a coat if you're coming out here in Avon, you know. So this weather report is brought to you by Betteridge. Fine jewelry and watches with exceptional service since 1897, located in Solaris. And it looks like a very cloudy start to today. You know, gray skies, cold around 50 degrees are definitely wear your coat to start the day. And like I said, drizzle and light rain expected throughout the next hour. Current temperatures are in Vale 48, Avon 50, Edwards 48, Eagle 52, and Gibson 54. Tonight you can expect some clear skies, overnight lows of low 40s. An outlook for the rest of the week is mostly sunny temperatures throughout the whole week. Colder start to the morning, but then nice and summer weather throughout the week. So don't be fooled. We are wrapping up and approaching fall, but just kidding. Summer feels like it's still here throughout the day. And so bring that coat out for the morning and then you can take it off for the rest of the day because it is supposed to warm up. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you, Charlie, for that. Yeah, so a little bit of cloud cover today, a little bit of drizzle, drizzle kind of in the central part of Eagle County, but it should be nicer uh, throughout the later part of the morning. And then we can see a slight chance of showers this afternoon today. So kind of a mixed bag. All right. Well, uh, thanks so much, guys. We'll be checking in with them. They've got to go meet Youth Power 365 for our next interview. We're going to learn about uh, different things that your kids can do with the uh, after school programs, power up, power on programs, uh, getting ready for college with Youth Power 365 when we return. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services for real estate. Where do we begin? For checklists and for wish lists. For tour after tour after tour. For is this the one? Or let's just see one more. For closing. Finally closing. Your forever agent will be there for all of it. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. For you. For life. At Beaver Creek, the extraordinary awaits everywhere you look, in every shared adventure, breathtaking view, and discovery, where attention to every last detail transforms moments into lasting memories. Experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. Nap Harvest is your marketplace for locally produced products like seasonal organic produce, meats, eggs, dairy, breads, flowers, nap nectars, and more. It's harvest time and that means Hotchkiss tomatoes, Olathe sweet corn, and peonia peaches. We also have a full bounty of mushrooms such as blue oysters, king trumpets, lion's mane, and chestnuts. Nap Harvest, your indoor farmer's market opens seven days a week in Eagle Ranch.
we're for the fashion forward and budget minded. We've got the brands that set you apart, the style to make you stand out, the looks that let you shine. We are for the dreamers, the doers, and the savers. Outlets at Silverthorne, elevate your savings. Save up to 70% on the best designer brands. Visit outlets at silverthorne.com for current sales and events. Welcome back to Vail Daily Live. Time now for our nonprofit spotlight brought to you by the Slifer Smith & Frampton Foundation, which is the charitable foundation of Slifer Smith & Frampton, supporting the local community through needs-based giving with a focus on families, youth enrichment, and environmental stewardship. Give to one, give to many at sssffoundation.org. And today we are interviewing one of our many great nonprofits in the area. It is Youth Power 365. Let's check in with Charlie now and Brittany. Hello, ladies. Hi, it's not raining. Sure. Good. It's not <laughs> drizzling on you. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that that cloud above us, I'm, it's not hopeful. It's definitely going to rain. So we'll try and get this interview done so Brittany can do it without the rain on top of us. But we have Brittany Kinney here. She is from Youth Power 365. She is the College and Career Readiness Manager. So Brittany, tell us a little bit about Youth Power 365 and what you guys do. Absolutely. Youth Power 365 serves all of our local schools in various youth programming, as well as our awesome mobile preschool that you see um, around the valley, family programming, and everything in between. Our goal is to serve families from cradle all the way to career readiness. That is fantastic. I mean, what an opportunity that mm -hmm. everybody has out here, and especially now with college season. That's so exciting. Tell us a little bit about your offerings that you have coming up for high school, you know, including Power Up for Success. Yes, absolutely. Youth Power 365 and their college and career readiness programming has a lot going on this fall. Like Charlie said, it's college season. <laughs> Lots of applications, essays, everything in between. And when it comes to events, one, check out our website for all of our workshops um, at youthpower365.org, as well as some fun events. October 23rd, full day of defining your definition of success. Get an interview ready outfit. It's open for boys and girls, as well as attend a bunch of workshops presented by local professionals. Wow, I mean, that's so helpful, I'm sure, you know, I think, for me, I think college can sound a bit daunting, especially to families. Maybe you might be the first child in your family going to college. So how lucky and wonderful that they have mm -hmm. this on offer for them. That's fantastic. And so you guys do some drop-in advising for families mm -hmm. and let them know about the scholarships on offer. Is that right? Yes. Everything that we offer is free for families. So whether you're thinking about going to trade school, maybe you're somebody who wants to go and get your doctorate, anything in between, we're here to support you. Also, um, on our website, you can register for free drop-in advising with our staff anytime between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. So parents can do that, students can do that, and we are just so thankful to be able to serve you and provide you all the advice you may want. Yeah, so be sure to go online at youthpower365.org and find out all that information, and that's where you can register and sign up for these events. Mm -hmm. And then I heard you have a career fair coming up. We do. So each year, Eagle County Schools, Vail Valley Partnership, Colorado Workforce, Edwards, and Vail Rotary, and Youth Power 365, lots of partners, we come together to put on a full day career fair. This year, it's Tuesday, November 9th. Registration is open for businesses. So if you would like to share about your career or you have an upcoming job, please make sure to register and be there as a business. But for students and families, Registration will be open in a couple weeks, and we really hope that you attend, whether to build your skills and your professionalism or just to get a winter or anticipated summer job. So we hope to see you there. So this isn't just if you're planning to go to college. This helps you get ready for your mm -hmm. career after high school. What a fantastic opportunity. Brittany, thank you so much. Thanks, Charlie. It's really lovely and wonderful to learn about this that you have on offer because I didn't know about this. So hopefully we can inform a lot of families out there that have kids ready after high school. So thank Absolutely. you so much. Thanks for your time. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, Brittany. I think it's so good to have that uh, type of uh, amenity, to have that uh, college career fair or the career fair, because sometimes it's nice to talk to people that are in the business. And and Brittany, you can kind of match your skill set. Hey, are you an introvert? Are you extrovert? You know, like those kind of things can make a big difference too. Not just your grades, it's also personality. And the more people you can talk to to figure this out, I think that's great that you guys are doing that. Absolutely. As an introvert, I can say, <laughs> work on your skills, go and talk to people, learn who you are. It's such a good opportunity. And thanks so much. Yeah, because you know what? If you find out who you are and, and what you're good at, you'll never work a day in your life because you'll enjoy what you're doing. So, all right. Thanks for all the good work you guys are doing over at Youth Power 365. Uh, that was our nonprofit spotlight today brought to you by Slifer Smith & Frampton Foundation. Uh, give to one, give to many, sssffoundation.org for more details. All right. Are we going to talk about Beaver Creek? All right, we got Rachel in the back giving me the directions on what we're doing today. Hey, Beaver Creek is still doing their movies, dinner and a movie. So these are outdoor movies, and they're going to do it for two more Fridays. And I can't believe the movie that's coming up this weekend. It is going to be Grease, one of my favorites. Oh, man, I love this as a kid. I love this as <laughs> in college. We would put it on. We even did a lip sync to this in college one time. So uh, September 17th will be Grease. And then and Angels in the Outfield will be on Friday, September 24th. And this is right down on the plaza. You can go pick up dinner at one of the many restaurants right around Beaver Creek, maybe Blue Moose or, you know, get something from 8100 or the Chop House and then come down and then sit in front of the big screen. And this will be from seven to nine on both Fridays, this Friday and next Friday before they wrap it up for the whole season. So it's fun that they're doing that. And then we also want to remind you, gondola service is closed during the week, but it's open throughout the weekends. So Saturday and Sunday up at Beaver Creek, Centennial Lift is open. Ticket, open, ticket office opens at nine. You can hop on the lift at 930. They go all the way till 430 for the uploads and then five for the downloads, which is good to know. If you're hiking up and you want to take the gondola down, you got to be there by five. Now over at Vail, they um, have it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they add an extra day to their weekend. But this weekend, we want to remind you that uh, Vail Health is sponsoring Hike, Wine, and Dine. It returns for its 13th year, and this benefits Jack's Place, the Cancer Caring House, which is adjacent to the Shaw Cancer Center. This typically sells out, so I would get on it if you want to participate in this. And it's, it's such a, a beautiful hike. It goes through the aspens. The leaves are going to be absolutely gorgeous. There's going to be bites along the way. Like, how often do you get that? Like, never. So you're going to not have to bring your own snacks. They're going to have gourmet bites along the way from the area restaurants that are participating. So this is awesome. So check it out. You can go to hikewinedine.com for more details just to uh, find out more and to get set up for this. Uh, right now, I want to give you some details on the weather. As Charlie's been mentioning, a little breezy out there, a little cool this morning. Temperatures kind of in the 40s and 50s, and the humidity level is up, which can make it feel a bit cooler. 54 for Eagle, 50 for Vale, and then for Edwards, we've seen 54 and Avon 52. Now, it uh, looks like the drizzle may have moved on out. It was supposed to do that by about 8 o'clock. So you may have seen a little shower this morning. We should see things clear up now for the rest of your day and then a chance of showers this afternoon. But overnight lows, we're dropping down into the low 40s. I haven't seen a three in front of it yet, but uh, low 40s for most of this week. And then our temperatures will reach into the 70s, kind of depending on where you're at. So that uh, those cooler temperatures, daylight hours getting shorter. Today, the sun is going to set at 715. I took a bike ride last night. I barely got home <laughs> before it got dark. So you got to start the workouts out early and be mindful of what's happening with the time and uh, uh, the hours of when it's getting dark, especially your tea times. Get your tea times in early because it's harder to find the ball uh, when you're golfing, when the light is uh, not there to help support your uh, discovery. But that's a look at the weather. Thank you to the Alice at Silverthorne. If you're looking for some back to school clothes still, even if you're not in school, I tend to love to shop in the fall because I'm so used to it every year, kindergarten through 
college hours, always buying clothes in the fall. So you can hop on over there, exit 205 in Silverthorne. They've got uh, outlets on both sides of the interstate and a lot of great deals can be had. But right now, let's take it to a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna let you know about some events happening in Vail, and we'll also check in with Walking Mountains. Slifer Smith & Frampton, Vail Valley's choice for real estate from the very beginning. For generations, we've grown together. Thank you for making us the number one real estate company in the Valley. From Denver to the mountains, as we live and connect with each other and our community, Slifer Smith & Frampton is here with experience, support, and opportunity. At home in the Vail Valley. Come visit us at any of our sales locations from Vail to Eagle. At Beaver Creek, the extraordinary awaits everywhere you look, in every shared adventure, every breathtaking view, and every discovery. It's where attention to every last detail transforms moments into lasting memories, so your mountain getaway dreams can all come true. Come experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. We are back. We're going to take it back up to Charlie Kennedy. She is standing by in Avon, and she's going to let us know what's happening with Walking Mountains. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Hi, Trisha. We're back here still in Avon. The rain did not appear yet. There's still gray skies, though, so I'm hopeful we'll get another interview done before the rain hits. But we're here with Kate from Walking Mountain Science Center, and she just biked four miles from Edwards to get here. So I'm looking <laughs> chilly, and she's looking warm. So no wonder she's in a t-shirt. Yes, no, she's she's feeling warm. So I guess bike in the morning, and you're warm up. But so Kate works with National Geographic, and so tell us a little bit about what you do, Kate. Um, I'm a National Geographic explorer. Uh, I wrote a grant so that way I could ride my bike following the Colorado River from source to sea. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. And so you have bought a program here today in Avon and you have an event this evening. Is that right? So you have the science and storytelling with the water cycle. And so tell us a bit about that event. Um, our goal in our expedition is to collect stories from everyday people who live around the watershed because most frequently... The stories that we hear are within several narratives. And so we thought, well, there's 40 million people in the watershed. There's got to be more than two or three narratives. So we are biking and interviewing people. And tonight we'd like to share why we're biking and some of the stories that we've collected, as well as offer up an opportunity for community members to share their own stories that we'll record for our oral history project. So interesting to me. And so you can do this 1,500 mile bike ride. Is that mm -hmm. correct? So what level do you need to be to be able to keep up with that bike ride? Oh, we bike really slow. You do? Yeah. So it's welcome for all levels, is that right? Oh, oh, the program? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say it's mostly adults. We're doing a lot of school programs, so we don't have any children-specific activities, but we are welcome to children of all ages. Okay, and so that is happening this evening, September 14th, from 6.30 to 8 p.m., and where do you begin that? Do we meet at Walking Science Center in Avon? At Walking Mountains, uh, there is a capacity uh, for COVID restrictions, so you'd have to go onto their website and register. Okay, and we can register at walkingmountains.org forward slash bike. Yep, and it's free. And it's free. That is wonderful. I just love all these free events that this gorgeous county has on offer. So, and so we can come and learn about the Colorado River and hear stories from everyday people. I mean, that sounds like a great event to me. I love it. So it's this evening. And so Kate, tell us with the kids going back to school, you know, and some events winding down, you guys are moving on out of here. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Where are you guys heading next? Uh, we're visiting Edwards Elementary and Avon Elementary today to do school programs. Okay. Tomorrow is Eagle. We're going to Battle Mountain High School in Gypsum, Eagle Elementary, Eagle Valley Middle School, and then we are off to Glenwood Springs. Fantastic. And then you move down to Fruta, Fruta next. Moab, so. and then all the way down to Mexico. 
you just have a cool job, I must say. I mean, you must enjoy what you do, right? I'm working for National Geographic. We're so excited that you're here and bringing this storytelling event this evening. So catch us at Walking Mountain Science Center and we hope to see you there. It's a free event. Come and join us. Oh, that is awesome. So Kate, you guys are, you're traveling by bike all the way down to the, where the Colorado meets uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Or no, which one? The, uh, the Sea of Cortez. Uh -huh. the, yeah, Sea of Cortez. Oh, uh -huh. that is so cool. So when do you expect to be there? We're hoping to reach uh, Mexico by Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, wow. About how many miles a day do you guys do? About 30 miles a day. And then you do these educational programs along the way. Yeah, that's why we're, we're stretching it out as long as possible so we can see as many children as possible. Okay, great. And what are some of the questions the children give you? Um, where do you poop is <laughs> a frequent one. Where do you sleep? That's a good question. Where do you sleep? Uh, we have tents. We do a lot of camping and we have a lot of um, people who will host us. A lot of the teachers let us camp in their yard. Wow. And so you pretty much travel with what's on your back. So mm -hmm. you have some, all that, some rucksacks. That's what Kate travels with. Amazing. And the oh, mailbox. Wow. We're collecting letters for kids from upstream and taking them downstream in that little mailbox. Wow. Gosh, <laughs> you guys, amazing. Thank you so much for telling us about that. Thank and you. And what you guys do. And best of luck on your trip. Thank you. All right. Okay. That's so cool. You can hear these stories, science and storytelling, and they want to know your stories and they're going to get a lot of it. Like they said, some letters and some great questions from the kids. But if you want to find out more, 6.30 to 8 p.m. And that's going to be tonight at Walking Mountains at the uh, Avon Tang campus. It's absolutely free. Just register in advance, mountain walking, mountain, uh, mountain, walkingmountains.org forward slash bike for those details. Thank you so much, Charlie, for that interview. All right. We're going to um, do the fly fishing report right now, give you an idea of what the fish are biting on and, and where you can find them. And the best thing to do is to go to the locals, fly fishing outfitters, is an Orvis endorsed, locally owned fly shop since 1992. Those guides know where to go and what the fish are biting on for the conditions. And uh, you know what? If one thing doesn't work, they switch it out. We went out with John Packer and the crew a few weeks ago, and what was nice is that they they can tell. Mm -mm, nope, they're not they're not eating on that. We're gonna switch it out, and so they'll let you know what you're gonna need out there on the rivers, and they can take you to many different rivers as well. They, here's oh here's the new town of Vale fish cam. It's the uh, the little cam that they put under the Gore Creek. This has been so fun to watch. Just checking things out. There's some fish right at the bottom. Can you see that on the screen? It's kind of mesmerizing. You end up watching this for a long time once you start. But uh, the folks at Fly Fishing Outfitters can get you outfitted with your gear, whether you need the waders, the boots, you can buy that gear there as well. And then if you want to do a float trip or a weight trip, they can help you with that. So to give them a call at 970-845-8090 or flyfishingoutfitters.net for more details. All right, so that's a look at your fly fishing report. Um, right now, we've got, what are we doing next, Rachel? Okay, we got a commercial break. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services for real estate. Where do we begin? For checklists and for wish lists. For tour after tour after tour. For is this the one? Or let's just see one more. For closing, finally closing. Your forever agent will be there for all of it. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, for you, for life. At Beaver Creek, the extraordinary awaits everywhere you look, in every shared adventure, every breathtaking view, and every discovery. It's where attention to every last detail transforms moments into lasting memories so your mountain getaway dreams can all come true. Come experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek.
We are back. I want to let you know about some things happening in Vail. Now we are bringing back the Taste of Vail. Taste of Vail traditionally has been held in the spring for many, many years, but with COVID, it's mixed things up a little bit. So we're going to have it be two days only this Thursday and Friday, and it is still going to be awesome. So on your Thursday, you can kick it off with a coffee class. So that'll be from 1130 to 1230 at Two Arrows Coffee um, before going to the Big Lamb Cook-Off later on the day. Um, and so you can explore two most popular methods for brewing at home, the pour over and the French press. Uh, these two methods completely sit on the opposite sides of the spectrum of how to make coffee, which is kind of cool to understand how you can learn about the differences in both. So that's happening on Thursday. And then the American Lamb Cook-Off, that will be 3 to 6 p.m. in the streets of Vail. This has been a staple on the Taste of Vail uh, schedule for many, many years. So you can enjoy some of Vail's uh, great chef preparing lamb in a variety of ways. And then they're going to also have some wine pairings that you can check out. Uh, so that's the lamb cook-off. And then we're going to have Friday morning yoga in the park, then um, Asturia caviar seminar. That'll be at the Grand View Room in the Lion's Head parking structure. And then uh, Willamette Valley sparkling wine. This will be at Matsuhisa. And then a berry picker. You can hike strawberry to berry, hike on Vail Mountain. And then a craft cocktail class Friday afternoon. And then in the evening on Friday, they're going to wrap it up with a Taste of Vail harvest dinner. This will be outside, open air. If it rains, they've got a plan for it. But um, this is a chef-crafted dinner. It'll go from 5 to 8 p.m. right at the base of Gondola One and the express lift in the Mountain Plaza area. So it should just be a great way to experience wonderful food, fabulous wine. And for details on all these and to get tickets, you can go to tasteavail.com. The event schedule is all right there. You can buy the tickets right online. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's Taste of Vail. And then also this weekend, the Vail Automotive Classic is going to be going on. And they've got a series of events that are going to be happening kind of uh, to their car club. But then on Sunday, they're opening up to the public. So on Sunday in the morning, they're going to have the Vail Automotive Classic classic uh, concourse, and this will be in Lionset Village, and uh, it's the 12th annual, so it's been going on for quite some time. They used to do the big Wheels and Wings show, now they're just keeping it up Valley with the cars, showing those off in Lionshead, and that event will go on until 2 p.m., so check that out if you are a car lover, and a lot of these cars are local. These are just in the garages of people around the area, so you can find out more, you can talk about cars, with this crew and learn about cars and coffee as well. Oh, there's John, there's John Mobius bringing out the little Jeep. <laughs> he brings that into the parade. Uh, so real neat to see these cars rolling through town. All right, and then Vail Oktoberfest returns as well. So last weekend was Lion said, this week in St. Vail is gonna have the stage down by Checkpoint Charlie and then that whole area right there. So on Saturday and Sunday, well, on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, the keg will be tapped at 12 p.m. And then it's going to go till 10 on Friday and Saturday and then till 6 on Sunday. And they're going to have all the contests, the Stein hoisting contest, the brat eating contest, as well as the costume contest. So wear your load your hosen, wear your dirndls. And uh, we saw a lot of people in costume last weekend. So it, you're going to fit in really well if you wear that. And they've got a lot of the before very unfair, the pretzels and everything. So you can grab food while you're there also. And speaking of food, hey, we still have some peaches hanging on. It's peach season. Oh, like it's sweet corn. We got the tomatoes out of Hotchkiss. But what are you going to do with all those peaches? Well, we checked in with Allie Stevens and she has a creative idea on what you can use with the peaches and working with halloumi cheese. Let's find out more.
if you've exhausted all of your options of what you think you could put on the grill, well, we've got a few more ideas for you. Joining me now, we have Allie Stevens. She's with Season to Taste. And uh, I haven't heard of this one before, but what is halloumi cheese? Yes, so it's a Greek cheese. It's cow, sheep, and goat's milk. And it's a nice cheese that you can grill. It doesn't ooze out. It stays nice and firm, but it gets nice. It gets soft and delicious. Okay. And we've also got some peaches. Yes, we have our local Palisade peaches, and the two will pair beautifully. So it's a good way to use up some of your peaches yeah. and pair it differently. Yeah, if you get a bunch of peaches at the farmer's market or you get a box delivered to your house, this is going to be a crowd pleaser for you. Right. Oh, wow. So, look so at we this. have our, our nice cheese. So it's nice and okay. firm, but when you give it grill marks, it heats up all the way through and okay. turns out delicious. And we can just get this in the grocery yeah, store. You found it up here. Store, yep, you can get it anywhere. Um, you might have one option, but look around okay. and they're all they're all delicious. So, And then, so we'll take one of our peaches here and you just wanna quarter them up so the caramelization process will happen a little bit easier. Yeah. And the peaches will wanna go on first so that they start to get a little bit softer and the natural sugars come out. Perfect. All right, so we'll quarter them up and then brush some olive oil on them. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil yep. to the grill. Just so they're not sticking on your grill. Mm -hmm. All right, and then same with your cheese. So okay. just a light layer of olive oil, same reason. And if you have your grill ready, great. If you don't have a grill, you can also use a grill pan. That's what we're gonna use today. Yes. But you want it on a pretty high heat. Right, yeah, so you want medium high. If you're on a grill, 400, 450 is even okay. Okay, we're gonna add some uh, nice little toppings here. You've got some fresh herbs. Are these from yes, your garden? They are from the garden. That oh, is awesome. a little bit of fresh mint, which grows beautifully, it grows yeah. abundantly, so use it up. It tastes delicious yeah. with this combination. And then you did some balsamic yes, vinegar. So some balsamic vinegar, a fresh squeeze of lemon and olive oil. A little salt if you'd like it. What a great Fresh little herbs. appetizer, yep. you know. And, you know, something you could even do on a campfire, bring it on a camp trip. Yep, absolutely. So you can make this or you can also change it up, make something also for breakfast, a halloumi breakfast sandwich with a fried egg on there and make a little oh. sriracha aioli and scallions. It would taste delicious. Okay, so halloumi, it's a Greek cheese. Check it out and pair it with peaches and all these other great things for the garden. And you've got yourself a wonderful appetizer. At Beaver Creek, the extraordinary awaits everywhere you look, in every shared adventure, breathtaking view, and discovery, where attention to every last detail transforms moments into lasting memories. Experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. When it comes to buying quality flooring for your Colorado home, there's only one store in the Vale Valley to choose from, Ruggs Benedict. Having served the Vale Valley for over 40 years, you can be confident that you are working with true flooring experts. With hundreds of choices in stock and the combined buying power of 1,000 Carpet One stores, we will find incredible deals for you. Rugs Benedict offers the best selection in area rugs, hardwood flooring, carpet, and luxury vinyl, so that you can find the perfect fit to fill the beautiful space in your home or business and have it installed right away. We don't use freelancers and neither should you. Rest assured and let our full-time staff of professionals at Rugs Benedict install your new floor with the highest quality standards and a lifetime installation guarantee. So stop by and pay us a visit at our 10,000 square foot showroom in Avon and let our team find you incredible deals and a flawless flooring experience. Because at Rugs Benedict, we know floors. All right, time for your lens of the day. These are from Salt, and it's brought to you by Eyepieces of Veil, vale, the art of vision. And Salt Optics, a great company. They carry a lot of their models. This model is the resin, and it's made out of Japanese titanium. And that's kind of been the rage from what the materials I've seen in a lot of the Tom Browns or even what we're seeing with uh, the Jacques Marie Maj. But the Japanese titanium frame, it makes the frame nice and lightweight especially when you have um, these little pieces that rest on your nose, the nose piece. It's not, not great to have that be heavy. It kind of leaves a mark. So lightweight yet durable. So that's good. And it's a polarized lens, which is ideal for spending time, you know, maybe on the water, maybe you're, you know, hanging out, going to be hiking down by the creeks or, you know, up in the mountains. 
it increases the contrast, the definition reduces glare. And I love the rose col colored mirror lens on this because that's kind of what color the, the frame is too, a nice rose gold. And then it's the classic aviator style, which is so popular for men and for women. You can use these for sport. I think they're a little more fashion-y if you ask me, but they are going to look cool if you're going to be hanging out today on a deck. And we will see a little bit more sunshine and we'll get to the weather report in just a moment. But um, this is what we're talking about. It's the salt optics uh, the uh, resin is the model that you can ask for by name by stopping by eyepieces today. But let's stop by Rugs Benedict. We have Charlie, and she has made it into the store to meet with Mandy. And ladies, thanks so much for coming on today. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to be in here because it was so cold outside. So I'm here with Mandy Benedict <laughs> here at Rugs Benedict in Avon. And I have to tell you, this is my first time coming into this store. And it's mesmerizing. It, I could never imagine a rug and hardware floor store to look like this. But Mandy, tell us a bit about your store. You've been serving the Valley for over 50 years. Is that right? Yeah, just about 50 years now with all the flooring needs. So. Oh, my. And it's not just rugs that you have. You have all the floor that we see in the store. We do. We have laminate. We have hardwood. We have carpet. We have just a tremendous selection of anything from, you know, really wide, custom, even rustic flooring to very contemporary styles. So anything to fit commercial or residential flooring we have. You have everything that can make a space or a home look great. Isn't that correct? Yeah. And so you guys offer great customer service. You have so many five-star reviews. Tell us a bit about what you strive for with your lifetime customers. Yeah, so really we do, we want people to have an incredible experience from the moment that they walk in the door. You don't really buy flooring that often. So to be able to just walk into the store and know that we have an incredible design team that's very educated. They know what works in the mountains. Um, we can provide incredible value. And then one of our greatest things that we offer are employee installers. And we have a lifetime installation warranty. And I think that's why we have so many five-star reviews is that people have a really great experience because we really care for them from A to Z. Yes, definitely. And you have a warehouse here in Gypsum. And mm -hmm. so I think that adds to the customer experience because you can get installations of anything you want. You don't have to wait for shipments to come in. You have your in-house installers. Tell us a bit about that. Yes. Yeah, so we have a huge facility in Gypsum that we actually just built um, last year. And we have 120 different carpets in stock. Mm -hmm. So Good. yes, if you're like, hey, before ski season hits, I want to update my rental or I'm ready to just, you know, update things. Yes. We have some really great values and beautiful things. Anything from like base grade rental carpet all the way to really high end hand knotted wools. So really there is a huge business for all different clientele and whatever you're looking for, they have so much on offer. That is fantastic. And so I just love that you don't have to wait for overseas shipments. You've got your own people in house that can install for you. I mean, that's fantastic. And so tell us a bit about the floor here that you have and then all the rugs behind us. Do you have any favorites that you have on offer? <laughs> you know, we have some absolutely beautiful things. We have a wood floor that I absolutely love that is um, an oil finish. It's a mix of like warms and, do you want me to show it to you? Yeah. I'll do a little tour over here. So this is one of my favorite floors that we're stocking right now is this piece right here from Du Chateau. And it has gorgeous variety of the warm tones, the cool tones. It has some texture to it. And I've seen clients use it with sort of mountain modern styles and really contemporary looks or going extremely rustic. So it's, it's very versatile. It's gorgeous. It really is. I mean, as is everything in this store, I feel like it's almost like shopping for clothes. You know, you can just browse through the rails and rails of different rugs. I can't believe how gorgeous it is in here. It's making me want to, you know, renovate for sure. I love it. So, I mean, if I was to come in and want to remodel my house, how long typically can I get some 
consultations done and installers into my into my home. So you can come in anytime and we can kind of start the process. We can usually okay. measure like the next day or within two days. And then depending wow. on the work that you'd like to have done and the products you select, we can get you on our next available spot. That is amazing. And tell us, what are your opening hours? We're here from 9 to 5.30 and that's Monday through Saturday. Okay, and we can just show up and have a consultation or a browse around the store? Absolutely. We'll give you a tour and help you find just the right thing. I mean, what an experience, overall experience. And like you say, you strive to have lifetime customers and you provide exceptional customer service. Thank you so much, Mandy, for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks great experience. In. Thank you. Okay, great job, ladies. Fun to see you, Mandy. And yes, uh, Charlie, I agree. It's like shopping for clothes and then it makes you want to buy everything in the store. <laughs> Let's all remodel this fall. Okay, Honestly, all right. The whole, the whole experience for me. I, I can't stop looking around. I'm trying to say focus <laughs> and I'm just, which rug should I buy? <laughs> but like Wait. Mandy said, they've got something for all different clients, depending if you have a rental or a beautiful mountain home, whatever you're looking for. I'm sure you'll find it here. So come on down. All right. Yeah. We'll tell your husband that remodeling is in your future. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Mandy Benedict with Brugs Benedict. You can find them just uh, right outside of Avon on the north side of the interstate. Easy to find right there before you head up to Wild Ridge and Wildwood. We're going to take it to a short break. We've got one more weather for you, and we're going to leave you with some deals. So stay tuned. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services for real estate. Where do we begin? For checklists and for wish lists. For tour after tour after tour. For is this the one? Or let's just see one more. For closing. Finally closing. Your forever agent will be there for all of it. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. For you. For life. At Beaver Creek, the extraordinary awaits everywhere you look, in every shared adventure, every breathtaking view, and every discovery. It's where attention to every last detail transforms moments into lasting memories, so your mountain getaway dreams can all come true. Come experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. All right, we're going to check back in with uh, Charlie. She's going to give us one more weather before we wrap up the show at 8.30. And keep in mind, we're live with you 7 to 8.30 every morning. And if you want to participate in our chat, you got to be watching on either YouTube or Facebook live. And then you can always watch us on demand. You just won't be able to chat with us then. But we are available on YouTube and Facebook on demand, also on Roku Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and we're also a podcast on Spotify. So a lot of ways to keep in touch with what's happening in our valley, whether you're coming on vacation, you want to watch us from afar, or if you're just here and you're wondering what's it going to be like today weather-wise. And speaking of weather, Charlie is going to give us our last weather. Hey, we're going to keep you inside. It's a little warmer in there for you this morning, but it looks like the sun is peeking out. We're, we're done with that drizzle. Yes, I mean, I didn't really see too much drizzle here in Avon. It was definitely freezing outside, you know, temperatures around 48 still. But just to add to the beauty of this store, Rugs Benedict, the glass windows here with the sun shining through, it's just stunning. So this weather report is brought to you by Carrots Jewelers creating heirlooms for over 50 years. And so we're looking at still cloudy skies outside, but it's definitely warming up. Current temperatures in Vail around 50 degrees, Avon 52, Edwards 50, Eagle 54, Gypsum 54. Tonight you can expect some clear skies, overnight lows of the low 40s. An outlook for the rest of the week is mostly sunny th throughout the whole day of every day of the week. Colder temperatures in the morning, but definitely around the high 70s. So as fall is approaching, it's still those summery temperatures in the day. So wrap up warm for the morning. You can definitely drop your coat for the rest of the day and then wrap back up for the evening. So I'm excited to have some nice summer weather still continuing throughout the day for the week. 
Okay. All right. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for um, taking one for the team with the the drizzle. When we started the show, she had her hood up. <laughs> so now she's been able to see some sunshine in our day. All right. We'll see you next time. Hey, we want to give you an idea of what kind of deals we have going on. We've already told you about the Veil Daily headlines. We've told you about some events. Now we want to let you know about some deals you won't want to miss in today's paper. So it is Tuesday and at the Red Lion, they've got all sorts of specials, food specials all day long, whether you want the Italian chicken wrap, a chicken salad sandwich, barbecue sliders, $11.99. So these are great deals for lunch. And they are going to be serving lunch throughout the day, 11 to about 4. And then live music tonight. They've got Andy Seifert from 6 to 10. And then they have dinner going all the way to 11 p.m. Sometimes maybe you didn't get the dinner in early enough and uh, the restaurants are closing around town. Red Lion will be serving the dinner up until late night. So uh, check it out, theredline.com. Also, it's Tuesday. That means Taco Tuesday at Agave. They serve up 150 crispy beef or chicken tacos and $2 carne, carne asada tacos. Uh, check them out. They're across from the Beaver Creek lot. That'll be from 4 until 9. And then this is such a great deal. It's the Take and Bake Family Meals for 38 bucks. You can get lasagna. They've got chicken parmesan, enchiladas. I've had the enchiladas were absolutely amazing. Chicken marsala, Italian sausage, and bow tie pasta. Feeds up to six people with great sides. Well, we got the enchiladas. We got chips, salsa, and guacamole. It is the best deal in town if you want to feed a bigger group. 38 bucks. And then, hey, do you need to stop by the thrifty store? Tuesday is the day to do it because they have crazy deal. Crazy Tuesdays is what they call it. So they pick another a different kind of topic all the time every Tuesday to offer something special. So I know people that just have a habit of just going there on Tuesdays to check out the crazy Tuesday deals at the thrifty shop. And then Remix, which is, uh, it's the old Rouge boutique. So same location, but it's in Edwards. New name, Remix consignment. They've got all sorts of fall uh, footwear and clothing coming in daily from Levi's to Louis Vuitton. Check it out. It's in Riverwalk. And then Tuesdays mean unlimited bowling at Bowl. So this is the back bowl. Yeah, at back bowl, not bowl, back bowl down in Eagle. So you want to do this from uh, open to close. It's only $16 per person. It includes the shoe rental, no reservations. Um, but you got to have at least a minimum of three people per lane. And then on Wednesdays, ladies, unlimited bowling with two buck margaritas. So here are some of the deals you won't want to miss that you can find in today's Fail Daily. Uh, we want to thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. Oh, we got our chat. So what do we have? Good morning. Hey, LA. Thank you for signing in. I think Garrett is traveling east on Wednesday to get married, New Year Town. And then um, let's see, Rodney, what do you have to say today? Oh, when I get home, no depressing national news. You watch Vail Daily Live. I know. We're, we're happy news, Rodney. So you stick with us. And uh, and then Dan Elliott. Good morning from Orlando. Awesome. Hope you ladies have recovered from Oktoberfest. Yeah, well, you know what, Dan? We've got more Oktoberfest to uh, be had. So we've got Oktoberfest happening this weekend at Vail Village. And then I just got word yesterday that Beaver Creek is going to host Bavarian Days. Okay, so don't put away the dirndls or the later hosen yet. We have another one we're going to do, and this will be the first weekend of October. So, Dan, you could still come out from Orlando. We could get you an outfit, and you could join us for Oktoberfest. So thanks for chatting in this morning. Great to have you guys with us. Great to have you part of our VDL community. Uh, thank you to Rachel behind the camera today, and thank you to Charlie for being out there in Avon. We will see you tomorrow bright and early. Thank you.